This is an interesting one. This is a Fiat Rapido 8094DF. It's a 2020, and I'm reading it all off of the windscreen just here. She's also telling me that it's seven and a half meters. It's got a Fiat 2.3 litre auto diesel engine, and it is plated at three and a half tons. So you can drive it on a normal car license. But what's great about this is the space inside. It's huge. They've done a really nice job with this one, and it's also got the lounge at the back, which is unusual on these. So, let's take a wander around the outside first of all. So you've got access door here, we've got the seats all around at the minute, obviously when they're facing forward that's just a, <laughs> a normal sort of way in, as it were. Around here, these are access to some of the technical bits and pieces. That one there, I'm going to guess is heating. <laughs> I'm not absolutely sure, but I'm totally honest. And then we'll come right on back. Water filler is in there. This one is storage right the way across the back and we've got the over carpets in there as well. And that's a pass through that goes right the way across the vehicle. We come right on around. Got the reversing camera on this one. And that is the other side of that pass through that we just saw. But come take a look inside. This is excellent. We've got the bin on the inside of the door. We've got the step powered out at the moment. That's a power step. But look at this. This is lovely. How spacious and light and inviting is that? That's absolutely fantastic. We've got a table here, of course, that folds out. So if you're dining, you can double the size of that. Otherwise, you can fold it up like so. There's a support that slides out here. So that obviously allows that to be properly supported when it's folded out. If we come right up to the front, we've got the captain's chairs, which are swiveled around at the minute. And then, as I think I mentioned, it's the automatic transmission. It's the nine speed on this one. And then the usual Fiat dashboard just there. That's the screen for the reversing camera. But what you can do here which is rather neat, is there's a lever we can pull down here. I wonder if I can do this and film at the same time. There we go. That pulls that backrest down. We can do the same on this one. There we go. They fold down. I'll go a little bit further, actually. Yeah, there we go. And what that allows us to do is this. See this little chap up here? We can pull on that, and it comes all the way down and drops into place like that. How brilliant is that? So you've got a proper bed up there in the front. The ladder obviously drops into place to give you easy access. You've got lights in here as well. That's brilliant. And it curtains off for a bit of privacy. Fantastic. Let's put that one back up. And in fact, there is a little clip here that you can put in to make absolutely sure. He says, there we go. But that is going nowhere. Let's let the uh, <laughs> put my teeth back in and say, let's lift these back up. There we go. One like that, and then one. Like that, and we're back in play. And obviously they spin around then, <laughs> obviously, for when you're driving. There's blinds that come across, you can see them just in here and in here. So you've got privacy, you can close off these windows. I like the lighting they put into place like this, that's very nice. And obviously storage is about the place in areas like this. And then up here, we've got the control panel. So um, uh, what can I show you here? We can show you state of the battery, for example. We can show, uh, that's the internal battery. So um, leisure battery, I should say. That one there is the engine battery tank levels, all that kind of stuff is all controlled from there. Truma heating and hot water is also controlled from there. And the other thing while we're pointed this way is this fellow here is, I'll slide that back and across, you can have your TV hidden away in there on that bracket and then that will swing out for when you want to use it. There we go. A little bit of storage up the top there. You can put your remote control in there, couldn't you? And the fridge and the freezer are here as well. That's the switch for the step and the light switch as you come in. If you come on round, the other thing that you'll find tucked away in here is 
seatbelt because this will convert into a forward facing seat. The one on this side will do exactly the same and therefore you can travel with four people in this one. And then there's storage again up in places like this. And if we come right on back then we've got kitchen. So you could probably guess couldn't you because <laughs> of the tap and then gas hob is there a bit of work surface here and then your oven down underneath and then drawers like so down underneath here as well by the look of it yeah there we go fantastic let's come around a little bit further more light switches here that we saw and then if we come right on back this is great because this is a separate rear lounge and you can make this into another bed so that slides out across to here infills great big double bed but what's brilliant about this is well first of all you can have this in a little tv aerial because you've got a tv area i should say did i say tv aerial so if you want to use this as a little tv zone you can do big opening windows look at the size of these these are great storage again all the way around and what is absolutely brilliant is this little controller here because you see these red lights underneath here and you can see them on this side as well that controller allows us to select any light we like from the spectrum <laughs> how brilliant is that and it's doing it on this side as well look that's superb isn't it i've not seen that in a motorhome before all these windows open and they all have blinds that come across them like this and this is storage of course across the back there we go. like so and more light in from the top again of course with the blinds that come across like this now the next clever thing to point out in here is well first of all there is huge storage here and hanging locker but you've also got shower just here real nice proper like a domestic shower isn't it that's lovely and on the other side the toilet with the sink and so on but where this gets really clever is that this door fits neatly into there and that closes this off completely so you've got total privacy and then these ones here slide across one like that and one like that so if you're using this back area as a bedroom then people further forward coming to the toilet are not disturbing you but equally that becomes like an ensuite to your bedroom you can use that without going into the forward area and you've got complete privacy that's brilliant that's such a nice bit of design there we go a bit more storage down here drawers and so forth and in there as well i like this i like just how much they've got into it if we come right to the back here look at that that is proper home from home stuff isn't it that's <laughs> just brilliant and you can see where that bed is now there that's the bit that comes down superb okay let's come back up through here i am going to have a seat up here And I'm going to say massive thanks to Highbridge Motorhomes. They've organised this tour and I'll put a link to those guys in the description. And massive thanks as ever to you all for indulging me with another motorhome tour. But let me know what you think of that one. I think that is a cool machine and I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Let's have a look from this end and we'll catch you again on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye bye.